Hey guys, welcome back to another Mythic Legions review. We have the Iron Knight Legion Builder up for review today. Legion Builders don't have any lore on the side of the package, but we can see an insignia for the army of Leodiceus, so we know what faction this figure belongs to. On the back we have new 2.0 artwork along with a short story on the lore of Mythic Legions. Let's get her out. Mythic Legions come in collector friendly packaging. You can easily take the package apart without ripping anything and can reuse the box for storage. The Iron Knight is a Legion Builder action figure. Legion Builders are figures meant for customizing or army building. They have a lower cost than regular figures but in return have much less detail in the paint and less unique accessories. They are usually a great value for the price as most come with a ton of accessories to use. Let's check out some detail. On the head we can see multiple little dents all over the helmet. The metal has a bit of shine to it but we can still notice all the details. On the side of the head we can see how some of the sculpting starts to get hard to notice from the simple paint job as it all starts to blend together. We can see the well sculpted decorative patterns on the center of the chest. On the back we see three large peg holes in the body. The top two sockets will be used for the shoulder armor later on while we won't be using the wing adapter peg in the middle. The shoulders have more of those small plates stacked on top of each other. We can see small details like the armor pattern on the shoulder too. The arms have a ton of detail in the sculpt. We can notice belts, rivets and seams all over the armor. We start to notice the limitations of the Legion Builder's paint when we look at certain parts like the silver belt straps. On the front we have a large belt with straps that hold layers of plated decorative armor. We can see highly detailed patterns in the front of the skirt. On the side we have even larger plates of armor with the design matching the chest plate. Under the skirt we can see a bit of details in the armor's thighs. More silver plates of armor are stacked over each other. The legs continue with the same design you can see throughout the figure with small rivets dotted around the back. And to finish up the figure we have the standard knight boots layered with plates of armor. Let's look at the articulation. We have a ball jointed head with rotation at the neck shoulders that open and rotate, an elbow that bends and rotates, with some restriction in the sculpting, a forearm that rotates, wrists that bend up and down and rotates, a ball jointed chest with a bit of range, a rotating waist, legs that open and bend forward and back, knees that bend back and rotate, thighs that rotate, and feet that bend up and down, and rotate at the ankle and foot. Let's check out what accessories she gets. We get an alternate helmet with this figure. To install it, you can easily pop out the original and pop the new one into the peg. The alternate head is a jousting styled helmet. We have a ton of details all over the extra helmet. The breathing holes in the front along with the wavy top adds a ton of uniqueness to this figure. On the side we can see even more detail in the sculpting as we have rivets dotted all over and we can see a serrated mohawk design in the center of the helmet. This helmet also has a removable spike at the back of the head. If you had an other decorative topper for the helmet it would be swappable here. We get a pair of shoulder armor to equip to the figure. To install them you match the socket with the peg in the back. One thing to notice is that they do restrict some head movement on the original helmet. We get a standard spear painted in silver, a standard long sword, nothing special all in a single color, and we get a short sword in the same color as all the other weapons. We get a pair of wing adapters to use with the figures if you want to install wings. And we get a small version of the belt to fit 2.0 bodies. Here we have a size comparison of the Iron Knight and the Templar Legion Builder from 1.0. We can see that the female knight's body is much smaller all over and she's slightly shorter than the bulky male. What can I say about the Iron Knight Legion Builder? It's a solid entry into the Mythic Legion's collection. With a simple paint job, standard accessories and an included extra head to swap, this figure is the most basic you can get out of all the Mythic Legions. I would use this Legion Builder as a base to compare the rest of the figures to. At the reduced price Legion Builders are at, the Iron Knight is a great value. The extra head lets you take this figure far in terms of customization, giving it a completely new look. 
While all the accessories are a bit standard, for a Legion Builder it's acceptable in my book. I would have preferred a shield for this figure, but the extra head makes up for that. A figure like this would really shine when combined with the Deluxe Knight figure pack, as the extra accessories would make this a perfect figure to kit bash. Overall, it's an extremely basic and standard figure for the Mythic Legions line. The simple iron paint job is begging for customization, and the alternate head swap means you can get multiples of this figure with a bit of variety. As the most basic Legion builder out there, I would recommend everyone to at least pick one up and start to customize them into a figure of your own. That wraps it up for this review, stay tuned for much more coming up soon.